Airports. Travelers are coming off a rocky start to the spring break travel season. Airlines across the country canceled hundreds of flights over the weekend, and we just checked the numbers for you a few minutes ago. And as of now, we're looking at about 15 cancellations, no delays out of Hartsfield Jackson, but it's changing all the time. It's been rough and people look forward to this for so long. Yeah, the kids are amped up and ready to go, but it's not just the delays that are causing some frustration. It's also the price of a ticket. The average cost is up more than $130 since January. Wow. This morning, Savannah Levins is live at the airport to give us some advice on how to save on airfare. I'm trying to book some flights right now. You can't get it for under a thousand no. for two people. Oh, I know it's the worst, right? Yeah, this is definitely one of those stories you want to pay attention to. Maybe go take some notes because these tips really could save you hundreds, especially with average ticket prices expected to go up another 60 to $70 in the next month. As COVID slowly fades into the rearview mirror, we're in the midst of a significant travel surge. Travelers have been even more eager to get back on planes far quicker than most analysts expected. But that plus high fuel costs is leading to record increases in average ticket prices. You see a lot of people really kind of freaking out about the cost of flights. But Scott Keyes, founder of Scott's Cheap Flights, says don't panic. Cheap flights are still extraordinarily plentiful. It's all about knowing knowing how to find them. Take the normal way that you search for flights and actually flip it on its head. That means flexibility is your best friend. On Google Flights, you can set your home airport of Atlanta, the month you'd prefer to travel, and the length of your trip. And boom, just like that, we see dozens of flights from the A to all over the country for under 100 bucks round trip. And it's international, too. Just in the past week, we've seen round trip flights from Atlanta to Brazil for 437 bucks, Costa Rica for 194 or Paris for 550 bucks. If you have a specific place you want or need to go or a certain day you have to travel, turn on price tracking and time it right. If you're traveling domestically, the Goldilocks window for when cheap flights are most likely to pop up is about one to three months in advance. For international travel, about two to eight months in advance. And if you're hesitant to commit, know that right now airlines are offering some pretty easy outs in the fine print. One of the best changes that the airlines made in their policies over the past two years was to quietly get rid of change fees. You can actually change your travel dates after you book without having to pay any penalty whatsoever. But if the new dates are cheaper, which they often are, you actually will get the difference back in the form of a travel credit. Company Hopper just released their quarterly report last week. What they're expecting is that prices are going to go up, up, up in May, stay high in June, taper off a little bit after that. So Aisha, hopefully this helped you and so many others watching this morning to save some cash next time you book. I'm leaned in to listening to this story. Thank you, Savannah. <laughs>